so yesterday after i made a podcast on masturbation okay and after that uh, uh, i like i was i was having not uh, i was not having any work uh, yesterday uh, there was no class and all that so i was free all day so i was having all day long i was having this and that discussion with uh, some of my beyond ug friends uh, on email and all that and after that in in the evening i got i got hungry and so i went to my restaurant where i go and to eat the food so i went there in the evening time it was uh, like uh, it was not even evening uh, uh, i i got hungry very early yesterday so i went to eat at the restaurant so when i went there what happened is that uh, uh, this waiter who is my friend who about whom i have talked with you many many times so that waiter i i saw that uh, that waiter was there at the restaurant but i saw this a uh, young boy also there okay this young boy uh, he was very very new i never saw him before so uh, almost uh, like 12 or 13 year old boy okay or even perhaps younger than that i don't know so he was there and he was uh, serving food to the customers okay so when i went there uh, i i um, uh, the um, my friend came to serve me and i was looking at this young boy working over there okay so i asked this my friend that who is this young boy and it turned out to be his son okay it was his son my friend's son so i said okay it's your son uh, why is he working here why have you bring uh, him here to work as a waiter so uh, my friend said to me that uh, uh, i was like i was i am running short of uh, some money in our days and for that and i i don't get uh, paid a lot from the, uh, working in this restaurant so the, i i brought my son also uh, to work so that i can get uh, some money for myself okay so uh, he he is he is doing it for his survival i came to know that the, that was that was the first thing that popped up in my head that he is doing it uh, he has to he is bound to do it for his survival to make his young son almost like 12 13 year old son to work at a restaurant as a waiter and he is bound to do that because he wants to survive he is running out of money so uh, that was going on i i listened to that thing and then after he went away and i was eating my food thinking about all these things so after that uh, when my food got over i finished my food he came with the bill uh, my friend he came with the bill and he immediately he he, he started saying to me that uh, uh, we i only get like i only get uh, a maximum i only get uh, 300 rupees uh, for a day for working for a day at this restaurant as a waiter and it is almost a shift of like uh, eight and a half hours or nine hours per, perhaps so he said that thing Uh, that he gets just 300 rupees for for a day okay that's his daily payout so and that was uh, uh, insufficient for him nowadays so he brought his son so he after that he also said that my son uh, they they told me the restaurant the owner they told him that his son will get 150 rupees for that much of work but not for eight and a half uh, hours he will work for like uh, a, a little bit like for five hours or six hours he said the entire thing he shared it with me because i am his friend so he shares with me everything that he does almost everything so he said the thing to me and i was just listening to him that uh, he is he is merely he is getting 300 rupees for working for like eight and a half or nine hours and he has now he has brought his son also young son and that son will merely get 150 rupees for 
working okay at, at a, as a waiter at a restaurant at such a young age i even asked him that uh, does he go to school or or not so he said yes he goes to school and after his school is over i will uh, bring him to this restaurant to work so you see such a young kid for such a young kid to have such kind of a thing this world is suffering this world is full of suffering i always maintain that and all these things when it comes across me i come to know that yes it is okay no matter what what anybody says that no 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 this world is a very beautiful world and all that stuff full of happiness and joy and beauty it's not it's all bull crap that you are saying okay this world is full of suffering and forget about all those theories okay that i was talking about in this po- on that podcast that i made recently on sins and punishments forget about all that all that is all more even more bull crap okay all those things are not necessary i was just looking at the things as it is so i thought oh, i saw all those things i listened to all those things that my friend was sharing with me okay and i i i, I was helpless to do anything I, i couldn't do anything for them okay so i i cannot do it so i just listened to it that was sufficient for me to learn at least for me to learn that i won't ever have a kid okay ever no matter wh- who says what okay no matter who says what i will not have any kid okay because i know that i am suffering here there is no point in bringing up a kid i have told you many many times that thing so then i paid the bill and i left the restaurant okay i left the restaurant and i was coming back so i thought uh, usually what i do is that i just uh, come out of the restaurant and uh, right in front of it there is a uh, there is a uh, auto rickshaw stand and i took a auto rickshaw from i take a auto rickshaw from that very stand immediately but yesterday what i did after that incident happened i i thought of like walking for a certain distance distance and then taking an auto rickshaw so i i like i i walked i was walking okay and <laughs> surprisingly uh, that decision that i took uh, surprisingly it was a uh, it came out to be a very uh, funny a very comedic but uh, uh, behind every comedy there is always a tragedy i came up with that thing so i was walking and there was this uh, small market okay Uh, a market of roses okay and why roses because today is valentine's day <laughs> or in my words today is valentine's doomsday and why i'm saying that is because of this while i was passing uh, through that market okay rose market of roses uh, do you know what the rose uh, the people who were selling roses there okay what they were what they were screaming they were screaming uh roses they were they were selling roses for 150 rupees for one flower okay for one simple rose they were charging 150 rupees okay and they had uh, when when they were shouting that thing in our local language they were shouting that thing and uh, when i heard that thing and i looked at that uh, those roses then i saw that in their shop in their in their uh, outlet there were uh, uh, cer- certain divisions okay and those divisions had different kind of roses okay like uh, in in the sizes so the smaller ones the smallest ones were costed 150 and the the biggest one it started from 150 to 200 and 250 300 300 rupees for one rose you see you see the 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 thing that that was that that's what makes it uh, the valentine's doomsday okay because uh, the these uh, <laughs> these uh, <laughs> flesh eaters <laughs> these flesh eating uh, zombies they are very very happy to buy that rose for 300 rupees and that poor rose doesn't even know that it is getting sold for 300 rupees it does, it, it, does, it doesn't even know that <laughs> and uh, it, it is it like if a if a common ordinary man is watching it like me if i am watching it i cannot even think about buying a rose for like uh, 150 rupees or 200 or 250 or 300 even in my wildest of dreams i cannot even think about that or buying that because that is sheer wastage of your hard earned money okay to buy a rose which will get withered within days for 300 rupees merely to give it to your lovey dovey who is also a 
flesh eating zombie uh, walking somewhere roaming around somewhere else right now and you will go to her or him and you will give that rose to her or him and you will be romantic for a certain while uh, calling her your valentine and you will celebrate your valentine's day and actually you are celebrating the valentine's doomsday and that's the tragedy of behind that comedy <laughs> that's a comedy that I, I laughed at it inwardly and then after i saw that what the hell is happening with the human beings okay what the hell is this valentine's day what is this what 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 the hell is this you are fighting for 364 or 365 days in a year and then in one day you are you are having oh you are we are dancing around amongst each other what for what the hell what the hell are you doing so uh, that thing was happening and there i remembered uh, my college days okay and in my college days when this valentine's day used to come once it came and i got very very popular in my college days uh, in that particular day not for my looks not for any any of those things but for what uh, for what i posted on my social network at that time okay i had i used to be uh, in a social network that that social network is not available right now anywhere okay that social network got de- deactivated completely it got over so i was at that social network with my friends i had many many friends on that so many college friends were also there my own college friends and i posted on on a, on a particular valentines day i posted a, a post there a status i posted that uh, today is valentines day uh, when all the couples they they date Uh, while the singles they merely update <laughs> so i posted that quote and that quote made me so so popular <laughs> in my college okay people used to say that that's so creative that you have posted that thing that's very very amazing okay and that's why i posted today on this channel uh, a modified version a even more brutal version a brutalized version actually of that same code that i posted <laughs> in my college okay uh, not to not to like not to become famous and all that again but because i certainly i come came to know that uh, that code that i posted in my college days was not sufficient enough what no, was not uh, truthful okay uh, uh, this is the truth that i wrote <laughs> today in the morning that today is valentine's doomsday okay it's a fantastic day where all the flesh eating zombies they date okay while some abandoned ghosts here and there like me and you or me at least me i am an abandoned ghost uh, we merely update as i am updating right now my podcast or i updated that uh, community post uh, today in the morning so that thing happened and uh, i i i went through that market then i got into an auto rickshaw and then i went away but it was going in my head that you see the you you see the transition between the two events that i just shared with you uh, some people are out there who are who are bound to work for 8 and a half or 9 hours just for 300 rupees daily payout and that is not since that is not sufficient enough for their uh, for their necessity fulfillments they are bringing up their child their their young kid in that particular thing to work to work after his school gets over to work there for a certain number of hour for 150 rupees that kind of people are there and at the same time Uh, those kind of people are also there who are buying a, a merely a rose which will be withered within days uh, for 150 or 300 rupees the same amount the same amount it got connected the mind because it connects everything it it connected it so that connection uh, which is mostly like uh, for the mind if it connects everything anything and everything uh, it is it is baffled it is puzzled but these connections are very very helpful uh, for you to learn the things and get out of that thing see the absurdity of that thing so I, I, that's why i said that i don't even i i cannot even think i cannot even imagine about buying that rose for 150 rupees or 300 rupees even in my wildest of dreams okay 
it's it's not necessary it's a useless wastage of your hard earned money that we are doing and that people are doing right now when i'm making this podcast people are planning for the valentines day they're doing it okay and uh, uh, i'm making this podcast uh, let me tell you i'm making this podcast on 13th feb okay so tomorrow is valentines day okay that's uh, i i i i just i make podcast in in an advance okay so that that's how i'm making this i, I went uh, there in the restaurant uh, to uh, yesterday okay which was like 12th of feb so people are planning for for their valentines day celebration from like 2 days ago so that's that that gives you the whole picture of it okay i'm giving you the uh, even the tiniest details of it that's why so that was going on and you see another incident from my college it popped up uh, while i was coming back it popped up that uh, uh, one of my friend <laughs> uh, gave, once he he gave a, a rose uh, to somebody he liked in the college okay who was uh, totally out of his league okay she was she, she was like totally out of his league i we used to say such things uh, in the college days so i'm i'm repeating that thing as as we function in our when we we are teenagers so she was totally out of his league and he decided to give a rose to her okay on on rose day uh, it comes uh, in this particular valentines week it comes certain day is a rose day uh, uh, all those things we were interested in now right now it's, it's all flushed out from uh, it is it's all nonsense but he decided to give it to her and when he give it, give it to her again he gave it to her that rose she immediately threw away that rose in the gutter okay immediately in front of us we were sitting in the canteen and he went to that girl and he gave the rose to her and she threw it away immediately to the gutter to the to the <laughs> gutter that was nearby <laughs> so that's the thing that's the thing so 150 rupees or 300 rupees will be getting wasted uh, in this valentines day also just like that in a flash of a second okay but people are spending or wasting their hard earned money in buying such things so that they can have some uh, vague kind of a pleasure and that's why i i i'm terming them as the flesh eating zombies they are flesh eaters they eat the flesh of each others okay i wrote on the thumbnail of this video that uh, will you be my valentine so that we can be doomed forever okay so you are you are not uh, happy that you are getting doomed all alone you are wanting to have a valentine okay so that you can be doomed together and forever <laughs> so that's what all of this makes this this so called day of valentines doomsday and if you if you are having some valentines just enjoy that doomsday enjoy your doom <laughs> so that that's the thing that's the that's the thing that i wanted to share with you today okay i will post this uh, on, on the valentines day or tomorrow i will post this today i have another thing so i will post this tomorrow and uh, you will see it so that's the <laughs> that's what uh, i've got to share with you today here in this podcast and i think that's sufficient enough and you see the whole uh, behind all this comedy the the funny things that i'm sharing with you there is a tragedy behind it uh talking about my friend the waiter at the restaurant his kid has to work there for 150 rupees so that his father can be like he his his needs whatever his expenses are can be fulfilled the shortage of money that he is facing right now can be fulfilled okay and there are certain people who are wasting that money on such frivolous things okay they are wasting it so that's it that's it for like uh, this the situation that's it and before yeah one one more thing before i finish it before you say that uh, because people are so clever so very clever okay people say that uh, people will say i know you 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 are you must be thinking right now that uh, those those people who were selling those roses they were also poor okay so uh, why are you saying about them they are at least getting some money out of that but they are they were not poor okay you will be surprised they were not poor they were they are having their shop 
or particular shops over there okay they are having that they they at least they they belong to a to a so called social class that has uh, the necessities the 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 means to fulfill their necessities okay so it is merely it is nothing else but it is merely a, a like a propaganda that is uh, that people uh, take uh, advantage of like any other festival whenever the festival comes the prices of a certain thing goes high okay and we are bound so that uh, the customers can be bound uh, can be uh, can be bounded uh, can be bonded to buy those things okay uh, it it goes like that so uh, before you speculate about anything about me about this situation let me just clarify you with that because it's not like that you have to see the thing exactly as it is okay and i am not talking i am not going to help anyone i am not i am not doing any social work and all that stuff neither i am showing any compassion and all that stuff i am just taking things as it is there is some people who are who are working for 8 and 8 or 8 and a half or 9 hours for merely 300 rupees and there are certain people who are buying frivolous things wasting their money 300 rupees exact amount they are wasting it on some frivolous things okay which doesn't mean a damn thing yeah, tomorrow just tomorrow you will fight today you are celebrating valentine's day you do it you go ahead do it so that's the situation in front of you and in front of me at least so i just learn it from there i just uh, learn it like that nothing else no no other unnecessary thoughts are necessary there okay it's fine so that's all for this one and i will see you next time okay celebrate enjoy your valentines doomsday <laughs> and be doomed forever okay i am also doomed forever because that doom will always be there we are we are humanity and humanity is uh, is the doom and so they are doomed forever so enjoy let's enjoy that's all for this one